and Bochinat.com. My name is Nicole. For those of you who don't know, in this channel you will find everything related to macrame. From tips and tricks videos to step-by-step -step video tutorials, you should be able to find a lot of valuable macrame content right here. If you do find the content valuable, please give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. So in today's tutorial, we'll be going over a pretty macrame flower knot pattern design. So I know a lot of times when we talk about macrame flowers, we talk about the 3D ones that resemble a real flower. And we sometimes forget that we can actually make flower knot pattern designs that we can use to incorporate in many macrame projects like wall hangings and bags and so on. The tricky part about this pattern is knowing which side to do the knots on as well as the diamond stitch knot in the middle using several strands of cord. So as you watch through the video, you'll know what I'm talking about. And because of that, you might want to stick to the end to watch how the full pattern is made. I did not speed up the video so that you guys can see clearly what I am doing and so that you can easily follow along. Hopefully you guys are able to use this in your own macrame projects. And if you guys do use this pattern, I want to see what you guys come up with. So please tag me with your creations on Instagram at Bochinot. And because we're on the topic of flowers this week, I will be adding to my macrame flower series again. And this time I'm going to be making a layered macrame flower. And that tutorial will be coming out on Patreon later this week. So if you guys are interested, please check out the link in the video description below. And for those of you who don't know what Patreon is, it's an online platform where you can support artists and in turn you get access to exclusive content. So in this instance, you would get access to exclusive macrame content. So if you're looking to advance from beginner to intermediate to advanced and looking to practice many different complex and intricate patterns, then Bochino Macrame may be right for you. With that said, let's begin! So we are going to start making one section of the flower knot pattern. So to begin, I'm going to use a wooden dowel. Depending on whether you're making a wall hanging, a plant hanger, or a bag, wherever you choose to use this pattern, you'll need something to attach your cords to. So say a stick, a piece of driftwood, a ring, or bag handles, to name a few. So to begin, we're going to take the cords one by one, we're going to fold them in half and attach them onto the wooden dowel here using a lark's head knot. Once you have attached all eight cords, we're going to start the pattern. So taking the fourth cord from the right, we're going to use that as an anchor cord for a row of diagonal double half hitch knots. To the left for four double half hitch knots.
Once you're done, we're going to take that top left chord and use that as an anchor chord for a row of diagonal double half inch knots now to the right three times. Now we're going to take the inner middle top right chord and we're going to use that as an anchor chord for a row of diagonal double half inch knots again to the left three times. Now continue with the next chord on the right and we're going to use that as an anchor chord for three double half inch knots to the left again. And then repeat the same pattern with the next chord on the right. And now to close off the first pedal, we're going to take that far right chord and again we're going to make three double half hitch knots to the left. Now to close off this pedal, we're going to take the outer two chords that we used as anchor chords for double half hitch knots here and use those as working chords to make a square knot with the inner three chords in the middle. As you pull on the inner chords of the square knot and tighten the square knot, the pedal should form a bit of texture and should curve upwards. So now we're going to make the second pedal and this is going to be on the left side. It's going to be the same pattern as the one we did on the right, except it's going to be a mirror image of the one on the right. So we're going to start from the fourth chord now, from the left, and we're going to use that chord as an anchor chord for a row of double half inch knots to the right. And then we're going to repeat with that top right chord and we're going to make a diagonal row of double half inch knots to the left. So once that is done, we're going to take the top inner left chord and we're going to use that as the anchor chord for a row of diagonal double half inch knots to the right. And then we're going to continue with the remaining three chords on the left and we're going to make a row of diagonal double half inch knots to the right, following the same pattern as the one we are making right now.
We're gonna repeat the same thing as we did on the right, and we're going to take the two outer cords and make a square knot, and pull it on tightly so that the petal curves upward. Once that is done, we're going to make the diamond stitch knot in the middle. We're going to take the cords from both sides and use it as two strands of cord to make the diamond stitch knot. So it might get a little messy here, so try to follow along as best as you can. So we're going to take the two strands of cord and place it on your index finger, and then we're going to take the left strand, wrap it behind the index finger, and then we'll take the right strand and weave it through from the left to the front through the loop. Then we're going to take that top strand from your index finger and we're going to fold it down and then we're going to take that right strand and we're going to pull it through the loop from the back to the front again. Then we're going to pull on the upper cords to tighten the diamond stitch knot. So now we're going to finish off this flower with two more petals at the bottom. This time we're going to work backwards to get to the bottom petals to look like the petals at the top. So we're going to start off with a square knot and we're just going to take two cords and we're going to use those as working cords and make a square knot. So we're going to take that top right cord and we're going to make a row of double half-ish knots three times to the right. Then we're going to take the next cord from the square knot and we're going to make three more double half inch knots to the right again. We're going to continue the same pattern with the remaining cords on the left with double half inch knots to the right until you have five rows of double half inch knots to the right.
So once you have made all five rows, we're going to close off this petal by taking the top right chord as the anchor chord, and we're going to start using those loose chords as working chords for a row of double half inch knots down to the bottom. Ensure that you tighten these double half inch knots so that the petal will curve upwards. Now all you have to do to finish up the last petal is to repeat the same pattern that we just did on the right, but this, this time we're going to make a mirror image of it. You have now completed the flower knot pattern. I hope you guys can use this in your own macrame projects. And if you guys have any questions, please leave me a line in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.